I worship you. I worship you. You are here, moving in our midst. I worship you. Not your work of men. The fire, the spirit of God, take off us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor I'm here. Okay. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hey, are we not excited to be in the presence of the Lord? Yeah. This place might not be as beautiful as your house, but God is here. Yeah. That is something to praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. I want to appreciate and also to acknowledge the men of God who are here. Uh, our Father who is there. Amen. Amen. But, uh, Jerogi and Apostle Seconda, thank you very much for, for coming together with our brother, Reverend Juno here and the son there, the Kenya there, Dr. Kenya, God bless you, and the rest of the pastors who are here. I want to salute you in Jesus' name. And I appreciate you, and I honor you, and I acknowledge your presence 
and I know what you are doing is not easy. But God who called you is faithful. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And God bless you. Amen. Look at your neighbor again. Tell your neighbor. Amen. You are in the right place. Right place. At the right time. Right time. With, the right with the right people. So sit down. Sit and down. enjoy the flight. Enjoy the flight. In Jesus' name. In Jesus Can we give a call to Jesus? Amen. Amen. In, when Jesus is going to appear here one of these bright morning because he's coming mm. when he's coming mm. you'll be looking for one thing mm. not two things mm -hmm. you're looking what? one thing, one thing. Mm -hmm. and they ask the disciples I wonder if when the man of when the son of man cometh mm -hmm. he shall find faith on this earth mm -hmm. one Thanks. Not not many preachers. No. Did you not say well, I find bishops? When you are problem, when you are troubles, they provoke you to erect an altar to worship the Lord. Hallelujah. When the devil presses hard, you say praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. When he comes like a mighty flood, you tell the devil, Thank you. You have given me another opportunity to worship the Lord. Hallelujah. When you are praising the Lord, when the climate is not conducive, when the economy is not liking, you stand and say, I will anyway praise the name of the Lord. No man do when or not when your body is looking for you. When your body is against, when your voice is a tuneless, you stand and say, it doesn't matter how I feel, but I want to praise the Lord and how. It doesn't matter what the devil you are doing, I'll praise the Lord and how. Erecting an altar of praise and worship. When the troubles, when demons, when the problems, when your enemies are surrounding you, and now you pray, you say, God, I make an altar to worship you. I want to lift your name. I want to bless your name. When you are surrounded by your enemies, that is the prime time to worship. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, that's the prime time to worship the Lord. When devil comes like a mighty flood, he gives you a grease, he gives you a gear, he gives you a catalyst. Let me tell you, problems are a catalyst Amen. to make you worship God better. Amen. 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 Tell your neighbor, neighbor, Amen. you better love them. Amen. Better love them. Amen. You better love them. The Bible says they are not new news. Jesus himself promised to say, in this world, you shall have tribulations, but be of good cheer because of our came. And in the Bible says, look here, in the Bible says in Psalm 419, men are the afflictions of the race. Not one, not too many. But I have delivered you from them all. If I give you one million problems and I take out one million problems, do you have a problem? No. Why? And I brought in one million and I took away one million. Who uh, do that mathematics? He said, men are the trials, men are the problem of what? The righteous, but I take them all. Amen. So if, if they just pass, I have a storm over my smiles, I have no problem. Let them come. Amen. How they came, they will go the way they came. Amen. Because God says, when they come, I will take them all. Amen. So you end up to have the difference. Amen. 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 So why are you worried? Mm. Why are you worried? Mm. In the fact, we have never. Let me tell you. Why let me ask God? Why does God allow me to go through a crisis? Mm. Why does God allow me to go this rough road? Mm. When life is not. When I should be enjoying sleeping in the alambai. Is it God? Is God punishing me? Is it a punishment? In fact, sometimes we end up confessing sins we have not committed. You <laughs> say, God, I'm sorry. Sorry for what? But if you have not committed any sin, yeah. you start blaming the devil for nothing. Yeah. Committing the uh, repenting sin. Let me tell you something. The Job said, the things that I feared, they came upon me. Mm. Mm. Uh, Look at your and tell your neighbor. When your troubles they provoke you to erect an altar to worship the Lord. To worship 
the Lord, to worship the Lord. When people think you should be lamenting and whining and complaining, they hear you singing a song. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm not the first. I have a witness. Paul and Silas, they were beaten up mm. and they were put in prison. Mm. Uh, it was unlawful because they, they had not committed no crime. They only cast out a demon. Mm. And that brought trouble because they closed somebody's business. And that landed them in prison. And the Bible said they were beaten. And the Bible said they were put in prison. Hallelujah. And their wounds were bleeding. But they never saw bleeding wounds. They never saw prison. They said, can you make a church here? Amen. Sometimes you are forced to make a church. They told, he told Silas, Silas, let us make a, let us have a church. Praise the name. They started worshiping the Lord, praising the Lord. In the midst of other prisoners, the Bible says that, and the other prisoners had them. Acts 16, had them. Well, they, they were not in the church like here. Were they in the church? No. They were not in the church. They were behind bars. Not even behind, they were beaten. It was, they were there and they were right. They never told God, God we did not commit any crime. They never complained. Mm. But they say it is worship time. Mm. Tell your neighbor, worship time. Worship, worship time. time. They, it's a thought of Silas. Silas is a worship time. A climate that was not conducive. They worship the Lord. The Bible says that there was a nap. Hardly quick. Hardly quick. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. You worship the Lord until there's hardly quick. Yes. And hardly quick came to open the prison bars. Yes. And the chains. Yes. And the Bible says that uh, even the jailer, the guy there, who the in charge, he woke up and found every door is open. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. And the guys were there. Wow. And they, well, he was uh, he wanted to kill himself. He was told by Paul, no, no, no. We are all here. We are all. Yeah. Don't worry, praise the Lord. When you praise, heaven must act. Yeah. When you praise the Lord in the spiritual realm, you are ready things to rally behind you. Yeah. When you worship the Lord, you change your atmosphere. You change the menu. You remove that menu and God starts working something. Let me tell you, your miracle is at the climax of your trial. At the climax of your trial is when your miracle is born. Not at the beginning. At the climax of your miracle, of your trial, is when your promotion is born. When your enemy says, now we we'll see what God is doing. Now we we'll see when they have closed your chapter. When they have closed your book. When they say, we have done it. When we are saying, now we can see. We are, we are born. When your enemy is celebrating, that is the time your promotion is coming. Yes. When they think they have done with you, they have dealt with you, when they are celebrating, when the doctors come and tell you, now this disease, we cannot heal it. This is incurable. Wait and prepare for your death. That is the time God is saying, I am starting my work in you. Tell your neighbor, neighbor. The climax of your trial, trial is your promotion time. Can you make it louder? The, the climax of your trial is your time of promotion. Hallelujah. When you have reached the pinnacle of your pain, when everything cannot do, when nothing else can be done, that is your opportunity time for God to pay you a visit. Amen. Why? God does not want to compete with anybody. Amen. God does not want. He wants everybody to put his tools down so that when he comes, you can give him all the glory. Amen. Because he cannot share his glory with anybody. Amen. God cannot share his glory with anybody. Amen. So you exhaust everything. You exhaust your power. You exhaust your ability. But anything you know you can, you can do to help yourself, you exhaust it. And when everything is done, God appears, hallelujah, because he does say, not want to share his glory with any man. His name is God. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Look at your neighbor, tell your neighbor, neighbor. I, am I am not done. Look at your neighbor, tell your neighbor. neighbor. Look, you look like a suspect <laughs> of a blessing tonight. You look like a suspect of a blessing tonight. 
When I look at you, you look like a suspect. <laughs> you know you look like a suspect. Hope a blessing tonight. I can see you are suspect. Hope a blessing tonight. My sister, you are there. I look you and you are suspect of a blessing tonight. God is about to change something. God is about to change somebody. Somebody's story is going to be changed tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody is going to have a new song here tonight. You shall sing a new song. You shall tell another story. You shall speak another story. You shall tell people, come and see what the Lord has done. Come and hear what he has been doing. Somebody here. God is going to change your story. You are is going to change in the name of Jesus. Can you have a better club for Jesus? Tell your neighbor, neighbor. My history is about to change. My story is about to change. Tell your neighbor, neighbor. Look at me. God is about to change my story. Look at me. Look at me clearly. My story is about to change. My life is going to change. I am not going to be the same way you see me. Because God is at work in me. And I am telling you, God is going to change you, Felix. Hallelujah. Can somebody praise the Lord? Can somebody lift the name of the Lord high? God is about to change somebody's story. God is about to change your story. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Even your enemies. Those who have been celebrating your downfall. Mm -hmm. Those who have been talking behind your back. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, they will greet you with respect. Mm -hmm. They will salute you. Mm -hmm. They will ask you what happened. Mm -hmm. Because they thought you were dead. Mm -hmm. They will ask you what happened. Mm -hmm. Not because they mean good. But because they thought you are done. Mm -hmm. But they will come and say, what happened? And we, we thought we didn't finish with you. Yeah. Oh. What happened? Mm -hmm. Wait for that. What happened? Yes. What happened? Yes. Because they had already done with you. Yeah. They closed your chapter. Yeah. And they say you are closing this world. But let me tell you, when they close the door, God is saying, I have said before you are not open. No man can close. No woman can close. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, don't close my story. Just put a comma. Just put a comma. God is about to write another statement. Go back to what you have done. Go and do what you have done. Just put a comma. A comma. Put a comma. God is going to finish up because He's the Alpha and the finisher of my life. You are not the finisher of my life. Yes. Tell your neighbor, neighbor. You are not the finisher of my life. Neither are you the Alpha. I know who is the Alpha and the Omega. The Alpha, Alpha and the Omega. The beginning and the end. And you don't appear anywhere. Tell your neighbor, neighbor. There is somebody who began a good work in me. And I know. And that I know. And I know, I know. That he is able to complete what he has begun in me. Praise the name of the Lord. When the climax of your trial yes. becomes the miracle, the promotion time. Yes. Hallelujah. When your enemy throws you to die, he just shall have finish you. And then God says, underneath me are the everlasting hand. God picks you up from that mighty clay. He puts you on a rock to stand so that you can praise the Lord. The Bible says, your enemies, they are going to be ashamed. Yeah. When you are in, let's try to celebrate. Let me tell you, not when you prosper, when, when you succeed, not everybody rejoices with you. Uh -huh. Not everybody celebrates you. No. Let me tell you, when you succeed, you buy another car, you buy a new house, you think they are celebrating. You say there is a housewarming, they are begging their finger. <laughs> How, Housewarming, they are biting their fingers. They, you, when you are celebrating, they are not celebrating. They just give you a plastic artificial smile. Oh, good God, mercy. <laughs> and then they don't mean it. In other words, don't see it. They say, no, they don't see it. And they just, they don't mean it. They don't celebrate your victory. They don't celebrate your success. Not everybody rejoices when you are happy. Some are lamenting. Some can spend money. 
to go and see my how they can silence that smile. And they close that mouth. That is smiling. They can spend the money. Let me tell you, they can spend even the little money they have to fight for your down. To make sure that they silence that mouth. That is smiling. Genesis 7, 13 to 20. The Bible says, And the Israelites say to Joseph, Are not your brothers feeding the flock in Shechem? Come, I will send you to them. So he said to, to him, Here am I. Then he said to him, Please go and see him with well with your brothers and the well with the flocks and bring back word to me. So he sent him out of the valley of April and he went to Shechem. Number 15. Now a certain man found him and there he was uh, wandering in the field and the man asked him, saying, What are you seeking? So he said, I'm seeking my brothers. Please tell me where they are feeding the flock. Oh my goodness, a concerned brother. A concerned brother. I am seeking. Tell the neighbor, neighbor, as long as your heart is kicking, as long as you have a chance to win the battle. <laughs> you have a chance to win. So don't give up. Don't give up. Stand. Faith must be tested. And the, the climax of your trial is where you are miracle. Oh my goodness. I wish you can see this one. At the climax, when everybody is saying you must die, you know that thing? Elijah was to be cooked alive. Elijah was to be cooked by King Hell. He closed the heavens and the evening there was no wine. The bars and the nightclubs were closed <laughs> because there was no wine. Did you end up? Yes. Everybody, even the animals died. They suffered. Why? There was no thing. The grapes could not produce. There was nothing for three and a half years. And everybody was mad. Can you imagine the whole nation against one man? And say, when we see him, he must die. And let me tell you, and I like him so new for sure. If I show myself, I would die. But one day God told him, go and show yourself. And they went. And they, even the greedy, he have said, you traveler of his life. Tra traveler. Hallelujah. Praise the name of God. Because he closed the heavens. Let me tell you something. Everybody was at that climax when they were trying breathing fire. Elijah came to them. Listen. It is not a condition. It is not a problem to me. Me and no issue. This battle does not belong to you or to me. It belongs to your God and to my God. So I don't want to fight for my God. Neither do you. So let us allow these gods to fight for themselves. Hallelujah. You have a God? Baal, yes, I admire you. You have a God. So why can these gods fight for themselves? Why, why should we fight for them? Amen. And that game was equal. So let's go to Mount Carmel. The Bible says at that Mount Carmel is when it was known the Yoga God is the living God. Is always there to defend his cause. Amen. Tell your neighbor, neighbor. Amen. It doesn't matter what they have done. It doesn't matter what they have done. God, God. plan for your life God. shall come to pass. God. What God ordained for you shall come to pass. It doesn't matter who who is saying no. When your pockets are empty, you tell God my account is empty, but I thank God because out of nothing you can create something. Because God called things that are not there as though they are there. Doesn't matter what the devil has done. Doesn't matter the damage that has been caused in your life. Let me tell you, when the Lord comes, he makes all things beautiful. In, your, in his time, God is going to come. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, it is not over. Until God says it's over. It is not over. It doesn't matter the damage. 
It doesn't matter what you don't have. It doesn't matter what you have stolen. Let me tell you, a time is coming for recovery. A time is coming for restoration. A time is coming. A time is coming. A time is coming. For them that wait upon him. Because the Bible says, uh, them that wait upon the Lord, they shall be renewed their strength. The after midnight, things will change. God is going to transform you and translate you and change your story forever. Change your story. In fact, your enemy is used of God. You know, your enemy, when God comes, when, when God wants to come to me, he will pass through my end. God is about to change your story. If you want to say yes, I also want to believe God with you. Can I believe God with you? Things will change. Your story will change. God is here. They told me to tell you that it is not over until he says it's over. God, tonight you are going to show yourself. You are going to show your glory to these ones. Tonight, God, you are going to manifest yourself in these people's lives. Tonight, God, you are going to glorify your name again. Father, I know you can do it again. They are standing naked before you, Lord. They are saying, God, we surrender. Oh, God, take over. And God, I release them to you now. And God, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, you shall spread your mind to the lasting hand. You shall lift them up. You shall hold them. You shall stand with them. You shall strengthen them. You shall give them a candle of a Zayari and a Conquer the devil. Defeat the enemy. Break the fetter. Break the chains. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, these dear ones, Lord, they need you. They need your help. God, come for their rescue. Show you are glory. Show you are mighty. God, pay them a visit. Pay them a visit. Pay them a visit, Lord. Visit them. Visit them, Lord. Be their guest. Be their guest in the name of Jesus. Father, now as they stand long, God, I pronounce and announce to them that it is done. It is done. It is done. It is done. In the name of Jesus. It is done. In the name of Jesus. It is done. My sister, it is done. My brother, it is done. It is done. It is done. It is done. The Lord has done it. You are free. The Lord has opened that door for you. He has made that way for you. It is done. In the name of Jesus. It is done. It is done. It is done. In the name of Jesus. It is done. God, from today, May they go with a testimony. But the Lord has done it. Amen. And God, I thank you. Because God, they will stand where I'm standing. And they will give a testimony. Amen. Of what the Lord has done tonight. Amen. Father, I want to thank you. And I want to bless your name. Amen. For in Jesus' name we pray. And we can we clap for Jesus. Amen.